this is uh, the title of it, 09 Oslo 337 Norway, CLKR response for U.S. Northcom. I'm not a military guy, so I didn't know what that meant, CLKR. CLKR is an um, acronym for Critical Infrastructure and Key Resources. Um, and uh, the date is 2009, 12.09, top secret. Origin is from the embassy in Oslo, Norway. Um, the text, top secret Oslo, blah, blah, blah. Notice U.S. Northcom, Major General Thompson. <clears throat> I have no idea what this stuff means. In fact, if any of you know what this stuff means, by all means, let me know because I can't interpret all of this. Um, uh, subject is uh, Sweden. Again, the CLKR response uh, for U.S. Northcom. Um, reference. U.S. Northcom is reference number classified by Lieutenant Colonel McClary for reasons A, Q, Z, and R. I have no idea what that is. I haven't had a chance to look it up. Uh, number one, S, response to HARP slash C E R N CERN, or is it Kern? Spiral anomaly was limited to 175 kilometers. With testing parameters met within three degrees of arc access. Um, if someone could determine what is this, I have no idea what they're talking about there. Now, just to reiterate, in case you haven't seen it, you need to go and search Oslo uh, Spiral UFO, I think is what it is, the reference. Uh, that was the spiraling UFO, or they said was a missile launch. And we all knew it was bullshit, right? Well, um, it looks like. The military also thought it was bull crap. Uh, then part two here. Post recommends activation of 2012 project Alice Bunker for President of the United States and Secretary of Defense. McClary and then the header blah blah blah. Uh, and it looks like December 9. Emb uh, Ambassador Embassy Oslo. I'm trying to determine some of this stuff because I'm not familiar with reading these. And it's to U.S. Northcom, Priority Alpha Q, X Tags, NASA 437, blah, blah, blah. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I got this from whatdoesitmean.com, but it's all over the internet uh, probably at this point. So I thought this was fascinating. I would love to get something like this on the uh, California missile launch off the coast of California. Because I think they know exactly what this stuff is, to be honest. Um, but I did find it fascinating that not only the fact that they mention HARP, uh, because, you know, I and others have made fun of Alex Jones and these conspiracy theorists for years. And one of the things they talk about a lot is HARP. Uh, uh, Je Jesse Ventura, in his show Conspiracy Theories, he did an entire show on HARP. And actually, I thought it was a good show. It was impressive. Um, it was fascinating, and I was, I was interested in it. But it was interesting here to note that they basically just term it by its name. Our Kern Spiral Anomaly was limited to 175 kilometers. Um, so is this not another reason why we need these cables released? Why, do, why can't we know what's going on? Furthermore, what the hell is uh, 2012 Project Alice Bunker? And why does that need to be activated in a relation to HARP? activity. I mean, can, I, I wish I knew. I have no idea what the hell that is. 2012 Project Alice Bunker. I find the name kind of unusual. Uh, I'm assuming Alice stands for something. Um, I can't active. No, don't know. But if any of you know what that is or have heard of any even rumors about what that is, I'd be curious to know more about it. Because this was a time when President Obama I believe he was either in Oslo or he was about to go to Oslo to get his uh, uh, Nobel Peace Prize for doing nothing. So um, this is one top secret cable that, I, uh, that I've stumbled upon. I'm not really looking at him, but again, my brother sent it to me. So I thought I would share it with you. Uh, find out what you can. Let me know what you think because I'm going to go eat.